What reminder Swami gives from a fallen pasta bowl? That so-called one hour of effort of carefully following the recipe and making the pasta was on the ground. Why did this happen? I worked so hard to be one hour of effort, Swami. That feeling was coming. A single voice comes into my head. How does Swami feel? Then it hit me. Just one hour I have put in effort and I am feeling so bad that my pasta got bad. For how many thousands of janmas has Swami been investing in me, in this particular soul, and still I am what I am? Hare Papa, how bad will Swami be feeling? Don't take whatever we have received from Bhagavan for granted. That was a lesson from a pasta bowl. I'm condensing it as a lot more, but there's a few more thoughts that I would like to share. Om Sri Sai Ram. It's a wonderful opportunity to be back in Dharma Kshetra. One can go on going into the 90s talking about the days when you are in student world, talking about the days when you are an employee and share all those memories. But before all that comes, our purpose of being here. In the great Bhagavatam, Bhagavan gives this example of the Gopikas. He says, the Gopikas are the embodiment of ultimate Bhakti, Parama Prema. A. Salokya. Be in the same world as the Lord, which all of us have been blessed with. You know, in Telugu they say Samakalikulu, born at the same time when the avatar descends on the earth. Samidyam. Out of those six billion people who were there in 1926 when the avatar decided to land on this this planet which he decided to, you know to come down and he has millions of other roles to play but when he came down he afforded us the opportunity not only of Salukyam and out of those people he selected us to be in his circle that is Savipyam to come to Swami, to come to the physical form of the Lord. It is not that anybody who worships any other form of the Lord is not in Samipyam. Yes, they are all in Samipyam. But for us, this loving form of Swami, this sweet little five foot three loving God makes all the difference. He gave us the opportunity of Samipyam. From Samipyam to go to Sarupyam and Sayujyam, it is entirely on us. I am reminded of the story of Varada. Swami narrated that story of Varada. All of us would have heard it several times. Vichara Bharat, he was sitting in Nandikram doing tapas, thinking of Ram, 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 Paduka. He put the Padukas on the throne and he was thinking of Swami. He was thinking of Lord Rama. The war was over. Ravana attained his Sayujyam with the Lord. We know the backstory of Ravan, Jaya, Vijaya. They were cursed by Durvasa. They were given an option, either three births as the enemies of the Lord or a hundred births as devotees of the Lord. They were so much in love with God that they said, it doesn't matter. We will be three janmas as enemies. We will come back to Swami faster. Koi baat nahi. Bhagwan ke haat se dhutti ho jai. Koi baat nahi. We are very happy. We would rather be enemies and come back to the Lord than be devotees and stay away from the Lord. That was their love for the Lord. Bhagavan, aapke haath se lukti milega, chalo koi baat nahi. We'll have three janmas. Ravan and Kumbhakarad. Kumbhakarad to all in a bunch ke hai, Ravan be bunch ke hai. And then Lord Rama says, chalo on one, go and tell Bharat that I'm coming. How sweetly Swami narrated the story in a Pondachandra session. Okay, but little bit of back note for Pondachandra after I finish this story. So, Swami narrated the story. Anuman went to Nantikram and then he blinked. He was seeing Lord Rama there. How is this possible? And then he looks out, composes himself. And as soon as Bharata sees Hanuman, he comes running and he says, Kai, Why have you come? Because Bharata already introduced Hanuman and Bharata already had a conversation at the time of Sanjeevani Marwa. That's a different story. Swami narrated that during the series of discourses that he gave on Ramayana. When he sees Bharat and Hanuman sees Bharat, Bharat sees Hanuman. And Hanuman bows down to Bharat and says, 
आप तो बिल्कुल आपके भाई साहब की तरह देखता है बड़े भाई की तरह देखता है यू आर द एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ सार कीप थिंकिंग ऑफ द लॉर्ड कीप कॉन्टम्पलेटिंग ऑन द लॉर्ड कीप मेडिटेटिंग ऑन द लॉर्ड प्रॉबली प्रॉबली वी मे नॉट गेट सारूपियम ऑफ स्वामी बट थोड़ा तो प्योरिफिकेशन हो जाएगा वी आर ऑल बॉर्न यूनिक एंड स्वामी सेस इस कलयुग में ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज टू चांट द नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड जस्ट चांट द नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड द श्लोका विद विच आई बी गैन टूडे इज वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट्स it comes from the shivmanas puja which i referred to in my earlier conversations with others as well shivmanas puja was introduced to me by my professor anil kumar mera ek weakness hai mera memory bahut poor hai main rat nahi sakta i cannot memorize so all the vedam that our brothers and sisters chant to be whatever i could memorize i could chant but shivmanas puja was introduced to be my one of my professors It's a very simple puja. Those of us who are familiar with it, you can close your eyes. You can visualize the Lord of Lord Shiva and do the entire puja. Shiva Anas puja. This is the fifth sloka, and the last sloka of that is the punchline. That is the sloka which is the night prayer in our hostel. If you look at the Lord, how beautifully He arranges things. Night prayer. Karishan kritam va kaya jam karma jam va shavana nai na jam va mara samba paradam. जय जय हम श्री साई देव शंभो बोल देते हैं क्योंकि प्रिय देवता तो भगवान है द ब्यूटी ऑफ भगवान लाइफ इन बींग पर्सनल नाउ लेट्स गो बैक वेन आई स्पोक लास्ट टाइम पिछली बार जब बात किया था तो द टॉप एंडेड विथ मी प्रोमिसिंग टू शेयर स्टोरीज ऑफ हाउ भगवान लेस इन बींग पार्ट ऑफ मल्टीपल ड्रामास You know, different people are. He uses different targets. Infused all of us with multiple targets. Some are academics. Some are sports persons. Some are into creative arts. Some are public speakers. When I say creative, but it's a very big uh, super set. You have singers. You have musicians. Each one of us he pulls to us using one of these seeds. Or pinch kya da usko, which he has planted in us. He he uses as an excuse. Like sometimes some great person once said. करता वही है करवाता वही है एंजॉय करता वही है और पूरा क्रेडिट हमको देता है सो दैट इज स्वामी ही गेट्स इट डन ही इंस्पायर्स एस ही एंश्योर्स दैट इट गोज ऑन सक्सेसफुली इफ एनी थिंग गोज रॉन्ग ही विल कवर अप एंड स्मॉल बॉयज दे डेड अ मिस्टेक अरे ही कवर अप एवरी थिंग एंड दिस इज हाउ ब्यूटिफुली दे हैव डन सो दिस आफ्टरनून वेर वी आर हैविंग ए कॉन्वर्जेशन आई वॉज रिमाइंडेड ऑफ How beautifully Bhagwan gives an opportunity at multiple levels. So drama was one opportunity. Uske baare mein I will detail a bit later. But one thought came to me. Take it a mix. When Swami calls us to Himself, जब भगवान बोलाते हैं ए यूनिवर्सिटी में स्टूडेंट बनाते हैं, He offers the butter and stick. All of us know this example. He offers us the butter of education. He pulls us in, and what? Gives us the sanskar using the stick. He shapes us at multiple levels. There was once a time in our university when participating in competitive exams was a big no-no. For example, all of us know about GATE, NEET, and all these competitive or national level competitive exams. So, participating in GATE, writing the GATE exam, looking for you know moving into higher levels of academic excellence was a big no no for a different reason altogether and when sweetly bhagwan answered the prayers of all the boys in a very different way it so happened one year that the boy from our university got the first rank in eight just imagine an all india level eight exam getting the first rank is a very very big thing and the information reached bhagwan through other channels so we आपका बच्चा गेट वन आ गया स्वामी गेट फर्स्ट फ्राइंग स्वामी स्वामी इज सो ग्रेटफुल स्वामी यू हैव ब्लेस्ड हिम यू हैव ब्लेस्ड हिम एंड स्वामी बीइंग द ग्रेट नटन सूत्रधारी प्रिटेंडेड एज इफ वी डिड नॉट नो एनीथिंग जैसे कि उसको मारूंगे तो शिवना के लेंदे छह महीना को उत्तर दो विदाउट शिवास ऑर्डर इवन एन एंट विल नॉट सिंग एज इफ वी डिड नॉट नो ई प्रिटेंडेड गेट क्या है व्हाट इज गेट एग्जाम आई डोंट नो दे डिड टेल मी और व्हाट एक्टिंग आई टेल यू सी स्वामी एनीबॉडी विल गो क्रेजी I don't know. I don't know anything. 
the vice chancellor and rajas to have our non plus are the bhagwan ji everybody is aware so abhi knows everything and when he begins to pretend na abhi wo maya mein zyada hai yashoda mata went to war me so the events of me he had as a competitive exams for me us mein science us mein bahut bada opportunity milta hai so abhi they get a chance to really grow and evolve in the field of pure sciences it's a wonderful opportunity for me and so abhi pretends मेरे को कोई नहीं बताया तारे भगवान प्लीज यार माया छोड़ो एज इफ यू डोंट नो स्टिल यस स्वामी और बंदे को बुलाया कि स्टैंडिंग ऑल द बॉयज सबको बाद में उसका मिलता है सबको अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिलते हैं सबको आशीर्वाद मिलता है एंड फ्रॉम दैट इयर ऑनवर्ड्स एवरीबडी एपियरिंग फॉर एवरी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वॉट आई चांस टू गो सेट इन द फ्रंट रो ऑफर दर एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म्स टू स्वामी See the beauty that I want to point out at this is when Bhagwan wants to do a quantum change, he does it so meticulously, so effortlessly, and so purely. Coming to sports, how Swami gives a chance, making use of sports to pull people closer to Him. I remember a wonderful example. There was one of the boys, one of my juniors. I worked with him in the super hospital. Swami selected him also to be part of that group of twelve boys who were working in that hospital. He was a very good sports enthusiast, and when he was even before coming to Bhopal, he used to drive bike. Was bike chalata? No, very fancy bike, heavy bike, sir. But and all of us love sports. Main bike stunts are a very big thing, and everybody looks forward to that. You know, formations, Indian Army ki tarah, we try to do all that. We put the tape behind pyramids. Four people, nine people, twelve people—all those stunts we do. And one of the stunts is to jump through a ring of fire. It was a big truck, big ring of fire, a big ramp. Another thing was having around fifteen boys, seventeen boys lying down, and the bike jumps over all those boys. So on that day, something was amiss. I was the computer. I remember that sportsman. I competed for two sports bikes. I was looking at Baba. सामने बने होते हैं टी दो सौ बस वो विंड प्रेशर तेरी लम्बे न्यूज़ स्टेडियम वी नो हाउ शांति वे दिक्कत डिजाइड देर इज ह्यूज डी इन फ्रंट एंड भगवान सिट्स ऑन टॉप तो आई वाज स्टैंडिंग हियर टुवर्ड्स द कॉर्नर द माइक्रोफोन इस सेट टुवर्ड्स द कॉर्नर ऑफ द जेंट्स साइड आई वाज लुकिंग अप इट भगवान आई वाज सी You need to keep track of Swami's emotion also. If Swami is getting out of sync, you have to speak something that will bring things back and keep the audience and give. ये एक ये कंपेयर नहीं होता है विदूषक होता है ही हैज टू कीप स्वामी हैप्पी उसका काम वही है जस्ट मेक स्वामी हैप्पी सो एवरीबॉडी इज हैप्पी सो आई वाज लुकिंग एंड स्वामी वाज बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर सीरियस सीरियस का चेहरा पूरा सीरियस था इट वाज ऑलमोस्ट एज इफ ही वाज कंसंट्रेटिंग हिज एनर्जी ऑन दैट बॉय द गाय ही वेंट ऑल द वे बैक ही स्टार्टेड द बाइक रेज द एक्सेलरेटर रिलीज द क्लच पिकड अप स्पीड गिव वेरी फास्ट Climbed the ramp and shot over the boys. He had speeded up too much, and when he landed, he could not break. The bike went straight and rammed into one pillar, into a crowd. I was was not visible who he rammed into, but it rammed into a crowd. Immediately, Swami paused the entire program, sent a message, got this boy onto stage, blessed him then and there. Kumuti, who be there? I thought video video was taken there. Swami blessed him profusely. And from that day onwards, though his God-given name or parents-given name is somebody, Swami's given name was Motorcycle Jump Boy. Any time he sees him, hey, Jump Boy, hey, Motorcycle Jump Boy, that's what the name to this name, whatever. As long as Bhagwan referred to him, Swami never gave him a name. He would always Motorcycle Jump Boy. Sports opportunity to pull, academics opportunity to pull. singing opportunity to pull instruments opportunity to pull finally in drama which is as what in gurnati says that it has got all the eight elements it has got everything in it so why i did such a long story is because swami has his own reasons to give us sami pyam all right and sami pyam has got its own degrees of sami pyam i'll start off with the drama With which Swami started off my so-called creative career at His Divine Lotus Feet. How he uses instances, how he uses different tiny tiny excuses to pull us towards Him. 
पिछली बार मैंने आई केम आई टोल्ड द होल स्टोरी अबाउट हाउ स्वामी एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड गिविंग मी अपॉर्चुनिटीज हाउ स्वामी एक्चुअली पोल्ड मी बिल सेल्फ विद द ड्राम ऑफ कॉल रक्षा माम शरण अगति आई वॉज गिविन द रोल ऑफ विपेशन अप ड्यूरिंग द सम ऑफ हाउस स्वामी हैड गिविन मी अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अटेंशन आई कुड नॉट गेट एनी अटेंशन फ्रॉम मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टू मंथ्स आई वॉज अट अल हॉस आई केप्ट वीपिंग एंड देन स्वामी केव मी दिस चांसेस विपेशन अप सो फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ दिस ड्रामा Suddenly, Swami became very, very interactive. Now, yakin maniye, every day interview with general devotees would get over. He would send them off. Usually, if you remember during those times, I'm talking about 92, 95, 97, when Swami would simply stand off on the portico after the interview and just give a left look. All the boys would come, occupy the entire portico. Swami would wait for the dust to settle. Then he would cut through. Yet in and yesterday I was sharing the same thoughts, same memories with some people. He'll stand in the middle of that. Uh, literally, I gave the example of Labrador puppies. You know, all of them crowding around Swami, all of them close to Swami. Swami puts his foot on somebody's thigh. Just try to visualize that. The beauty of Bhagwan putting his leg on somebody's thigh, hand on somebody's hand, hand on somebody's shoulder, and speaking. And there was my classmate by name. I don't want to take names. I don't know where he is right now, but he was right. We lost Swami's right hand. So Swami was making a point and kept hammering his head. But see, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. We were all blinking. अरे वाह पुरे ये सास सरार पे इतने सार इतनी बार Swami मार रहा है. इसका कुछ हो नहीं वाम है. Something good is going to happen. And whacked him left, right, and center for more than twenty minutes. He was getting whacked on the head, and he was like almost you know, you know, it's like water drop therapy. You don't know what is happening to you. Oh, he banged him on his head so many times after everything got over. So we went back and we asked him, "Are you Nataraj? How are you feeling?" We used to call him Nataraj because he had a different name, but Nataraj was his name. He used to love dry fruits. Okay, I'm telling the story also. So, us ko hum Nataraj naam de diye hai usko. And Swami and we asked him, "How are you feeling?" And he says, "I don't know, yar." Now he is a leading scientist in pure sciences in Switzerland. When a one touches you, we don't know which switch he is switching on, where he is going, what he is doing. In that particular drama, for, as the role of the Vishnu, Swami would call us for interviews after the main interview. So this running, bouncing, and all that had to wait. So guys were all waiting. No, Swami didn't give the signal to run, but he was calling drama boys and said, "So outside, you know, away then as it is called." <clears throat> Tension keeps going higher and higher and higher, waiting, waiting, waiting. Inside the interview room, everybody thinks Swami talks about the secrets of the universe. Nana, nah. he talks very simple things: grass is green, sky is blue. How did you have? What was breakfast? What was lunch? We are all thinking, "Arey Swami, you brought us into the interview room. You are telling us all these things. What is the meaning?" You know, some of us who think we are, you know, eclectic and all that, such a thought comes out. And then suddenly, Swami will give one charak, where you are. Those are very, very deep stories that probably today, if I start telling, it will go on for another two, three hours. So I'll give one example of how Swami taught a lesson in evolution. So Swami, lots of interviews for Akshamam Sharanagati drama. It was part three dramas. I mentioned this. I think, uh, I think four months ago, OSK Shastri sir had come. Even he also spoke about it. He was one of the script writers for that drama. So we had a lot of link between those two. Ramo was over. Swami blessed all of us in the school, our uh, institute auditorium. Lot of blessings, bula ke padnamaskar, bula ke blessing. When I was taking Swami's padnamaskar, my wig came loose. So when I got up, Swami was adjusting my wig. He re-put the hairpins and all that. Wonderful story. And before the drama, Swami came to the green room, which was the seminar hall, which is right next to the conference room in Parthi, the Prashant Nilayam campus. Individually, he checked out the costumes of every single Borane character. I still remember the boy who played the role of Draupadi. My God, Swami pulled his pallu forward and kept hitting us at the same way he hit Nataraj. He kept hitting us at so many times, so many times. And you are all thinking, My God, what a blessing! What a blessing! What a blessing! He goes to Bhim. He says, "This is slipping. Come on, let me tie this angavastar correctly." He goes to Arjun. He goes to Nakul. He goes to Sakadev. He goes to Krishna. He adjusts his crown. Flute, the cow. Flute, the cow. Swami holds the flute. 
इधर लूज है इधर टाइट है मोनिक गॉड वॉट डिग्री ऑफ डिटेल फॉर अ स्मॉल ड्रामा विच इज बिंग प्रेजेंटेड इन द कॉलेज ऑडिटोरियम ओनली फॉर हिस्स कंजम्पन आप अपने कंजम्पन भी नहीं है ओनली स्वामी इज ऑडियंस एवरीबडी हेल्स स्पेक्टेटर इज ओनली ऑडियंस What degree of detail Swami goes into? Then he looks at me. He looks at me. Which time? So okay, fine. Take that. Come. I go to them. He looks at me and says, "Still a thick nahi hai. Leke aao." So they bring the small tray. You know, in costume department, you have all those multiple colors. So Swami literally put his finger in that. Then he gave a half knee on the forehead, and then he put a dot in the center. So, no photo be here. I just treasured for a lifetime. But one good thing I got, we don't know what purpose. Inner significance, but this was fair. At that point in time, it was a blessing. So he put the tilak for me. Then he just Ravan and told Ravana, "Over acting, chill out." Because one statement that he gave that poor guy, I don't know what Swami meant by that. But Swami said, "One acting, chill out." So drama got over. Parna was cast. Sab ho gaya. Photos were taken. Rest, everything fine. During those days, after the cultural program is over, the next day, all the photographers would collect, come with the hard copies, the prints of all those photographs, and offer them to Bhagwan. So Swami would take those photographs. He would look at those photographs, and the beauty you should see, he will call each one of those drama characters. He will make that moment memorable for a lifetime. Dekho, tum hai in this lovely Hindi, tum hai. And he gives them the like photograph. That guy cherishes. He calls another boy. He calls another boy. Like that, systematically, almost everybody gets. On that evening, Swami had a different plan. He distributed a few photographs. Then he gave the rest of the bundle to me. I am a greenhorn. First year undergraduate, 1992. Tapi tapi join over bachcha ho. Literally, I don't know what the etiquette is. How things are supposed to be. And the only Swami that I know is heart to heart, love to love, one to one Swami. बात में सीखते हैं अरे बाप रे नीलिंग यू टेक फॉर ग्रांटेड ही विल टीच यू इन अ डिफरेंट वे वो भी बता माय गॉड जस्ट थिंकिंग ऑफ इट आई एम गेटिंग सो स्वामी गिव दैट बंडल ऑफ फोटोग्राफ्स टू मी एंड ही सेड नो वंदर की इच्छे यू गिव एवरी वन आई ग्रेट ऑनर यू नो फर्स्ट ईयर अंडर ग्रेटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इन फोटो सेकेंड पी जी एंड आई एम फर्स्ट ईयर रिश्ते डिवोटिंग बाई द वे None of the people in my family are ever come to Swar. Swami so put me into himself for his reasons, which I'm not. We can't go into right now. Patane, senior brothers, they are all looking at me like, "Hey, Swami is giving in. Hey, bacha hai. Chalo, ठीक है. Oh yeah, Swami is giving. So that look comes and it goes out because center of attention is Swami. And then Swami goes on to the party. Oh, we are all waiting, ready to run. Now, what those photos in my hand signal at that. And uh, then everybody runs out to the party. I am also running with everybody, and photos fall out of my hand. Photos are falling from my hand. They all fall down, and everybody is crushing those photographs. And my reaction is like a little baby boy saying, "Mummy, it's there. That Swami photos have fallen. That boy, little boy, Swami photos have fallen." And then Swami is like, "No one to put paring at you," which means, "Tu kyo bhaga? Tu bhaga isliye photos kire na." At that point in time, it was literal. I ran the photo slip from my hand. That is where the photos went on. But in the retrospect, one has to think very carefully. It hit me very hard a couple of days later. Just imagine, Swami has been giving this boy and a few other boys attention for the past one and a half months till the drama was presented to Swami. Personal attention, interviews, calling you for the other distribution, giving you chances inside the interview. Bad namaskar. Just imagine what the other boys would be feeling. This particular group of boys are getting so much of attention from Swami. What about the other boys? When Swami gave me the responsibility to distribute the photographs, I should have had the maturity to stay put. Let the other guys run and get a first choice in the front row, right? वहां पे भी मेरा स्वार्थ आई वॉन्ट कॉल इट सर्विजनेस आई विल इट द डिजायर टू बी नोस्ट टू स्वामी नो यू कैन जस्टिफाई एनी वे यू वॉन्ट थ्रू दैट सिंगल इंस्टेंस स्वामी टॉट बी वेरी पावरफुल लेसन डो नॉट टेक सामीपियम फॉर गार्ड वेन गॉड इज गिविंग यू एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू बी फिजिकली क्लोज टू गिव जब भगवान खुद उनके चरणों में उनके आई डोट नो वॉट वे टू डिस्क्राइब इट टू बी सो क्लोज टू हेव 
don't take that opportunity for granted always remember you are playing with fire normal distance pe rahega to you will enjoy everything go to close take fire for granted jal jao okay? that is god and this lesson he started teaching way back in 1992 and from then on systematically swami started teaching me and others everybody in his own way what swami is two three years past ganesh chaturthi all of us know ganesh chaturthi is a very big event in puttaparthi and swami blesses with the uh, chariots and all that it started so we could take swami on all i mean take the chariots take the ganesha from the hostel go around the mandir take production for swami parikrama karke we would go for nimarcha during those days it was nine days celebration after that swami brought it down to seven five and three so on the ninth day all of us were why i mean some of us were photographers so to speak hath me camera and you know the ganesha had come all the chariots had left this was after cycle one that was constructed try to visualize a three four almost almost empty cycle one that all the noise of all the you know drums and bajas everything is receding into a distance swami is standing on the ganesh portico the white marble alone beautiful swami divine mood is standing there and we were five seven camera boys who was waiting over there and one of the boy puts the thought into my head arvin why don't you go and ask swami for a group photograph you know at that point in time when bhagwan has given you so much of freedom you tend to take things for granted na thank like, yeah, god i took the thought i wouldn't say courage i was foolish enough to go to swami hold swami's hand and say swami photograph and i'm saying it's up my hand is shaking you should see the look swami gave little narsimha he looks down at me i'm at swami's right hand say looks down at me adhi kamarsanga paita kamarsanga why covered so his response was so scary i ran away from that you know inside gents said inside the cycle one all waters you know the water cooler is there I went and just crashed next to the water cooler, and I was crying, 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 sobbing, sobbing, sobbing. Didn't know how to react. Just imagine, Bhagwan, in front of everyone, he said that. And during those days, if Bhagwan shows us iron on anyone, you know, kam katham dukan ban. Literally, you are out. You will get a call. Vice warden will call you. There is a meeting. They will decide what to do with you. You will be thrown out if you have displeased Bhagwan. So I was confident. Ho gaya mera kam. I am finished. Then the registrar comes. Where are you, Lakshmi Narasimha sir? You know, very, 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 very balanced person. I don't know he's in meditation. Let's not get into that. But very fantastic person. He comes and says, "Adhan, don't cry, don't cry." You know, I'm weeping and sobbing and sobbing and sobbing. And then the controller comes. He says, "Adhan, don't cry. It is Swami trying to teach you something. Don't feel bad." I wept. I said, "Sir, all of you were to throw me out. I have displeased Bhagwan. Swami has yelled at me like this in front of everyone. I have been Swami upset. All the devotees will be upset. I have misbehaved. I am at fault. I am at fault, sir. No, no. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down." Then controller sir explained. He said it in Telugu. I am going to say it in English. He said, "In Telugu, we call it samayam sandharvam chuskovali." you should look at the time and the context to you swami may be your loving god your personal god you, the chances you've got in the interview the proximity that swami has given you the freedom that swami has given you in the interview do you think that the devotee sitting in the 50th row over there is going to get that kind of samipyam no when swami is standing there he is god to all those people who are looking at him they are paying for sparshan and sambhashan getting a darshan is a very 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 great thing for them what do you know or when people must have spent whatever money they have earned in that entire month to come to puttaparthi to have swami's darshan and you are getting so much from swami how can you treat their god like your god you can't When Swami gives you proximity, when Swami gives Swami to him inside the interview room, you will be what He wants you to be. You can be free. You can, you know, whatever joke Swami will crack, you can enjoy. 
But when Swami comes out onto the portico, He is God. Please don't forget that. Kabhi mat bolna Bhagwan, Bhagwan. Bhagwan ko Bhagwan ke tarah dekha chahiye. Agreed? It was a very, very hard lesson which I have never forgotten. When you are how to be with Swami, where, when and how. Beautiful lesson that Swami taught, unforgettable for a lifetime. Certain other lessons I have already shared in Pomai Sai, I have already shared earlier. So I don't want to repeat them here because this opportunity should be used for a different reason. So far I have been talking about Salokyam, Samimyam, Sarupyam, Saijam, all that spiritual concepts. Now let us come to a past reality, ground reality concept. Now this is one experience that was very very important to me. I am going to share it. How it influences each one of us, let us think for ourselves. Swami was, uh, I was working in the Whitefield Hospital at that time. And Swami was at, on back to Buddha Bharti. Swami used to come to Bangalore, stay during the summer for extra and then he would go back. And uh, you know, I was working in the hospital, I had a small apartment and I was cooking, I was a very good cook. So I was cooking. So that day, I made Italian pasta. It was raining outside, I still remember, it was raining outside, a beautiful kitchen. I have an dining table in the kitchen and the kitchen area is separate. So I had boiled the pasta, I had chopped the tomatoes, fried the tomatoes, then put the onions, then put the onions, pasta sauce, whatever it is, you know, special uh, shizwan sauce, which is bought with odala. Then green onions, spring onions, uh, coriander, made it look so beautiful, rich, colorful, then created cheddar cheese, no wonder I am so fat, that's a different ball game. He created cheddar cheese on that, made everything ready, then put the pasta into it, mixed it nicely, kept it on the kitchen counter. I just went out, you know, cleaned, had a wash, came back and I picked up that pasta to put it on the dining table. Unfortunately, I had forgotten that that lid which I had put on the pasta bowl was slightly larger than the bowl itself. I picked up that pasta, the bowl fell down. That so-called one hour of effort of carefully following the recipe and making the pasta was on the ground. Immediate reaction. Swami, how can you, how can you make this happen, Swami? Why you blame Swami when you go for? So Swami, Swami, why did this happen? Why did this happen? I worked so hard, so we one hour of effort, Swami. This, that, all that feeling was coming. In all that, like you see in movies, right? Happy background music, happy violence, oh this, that, on a sudden pin drop silence. A single voice comes into my head. How does Swami feel? Suddenly there is a stop. It's raining outside. I can hear the sound of the rain. I am alone in the kitchen. I am looking at that mess on the ground. And then the thought once again comes. How does Swami feel? Then it hit me. One hour, just one hour I have put in effort. And I am feeling so bad that my pasta got bad. For how many thousands of Janmas has Swami been investing in me, in this particular soul, and still I am what I am? Are, are, how bad will Swami be feeling? Let us not think that way. Let us not take Swami for granted. All these thoughts started flooding into my head. What reminder Swami gives from a fallen pasta bowl? Ian I care about he Swami wanted me to learn a lesson. The lesson came to me automatically. Don't take whatever we have received from Bhagavan for granted. That was the lesson from a pasta bowl. I'm condensing it as a lot more, but there's a few more thoughts that I would like to share. Coming back to the dramas, because Swami gave me lots of chances to drama, he gave me chances to band, and he gave me chances after and so make him an employee of Whitefield, I was working with the Vrindavan campus, sports meet dramas also Swami gave a chance. But I will refer to those three or four opportunities which Swami gave when I was in Vishanti Relia. The first convocation drama in which I got an opportunity was the role of Shiva. And extremely rarely, you know, Swami gave opportunities for two convocation dramas. For that particular year, that drama, there were two dramas, an English drama and a Telugu drama. I was given the role of Shiva in the Telugu drama. Now, I must share the experience of how I got that role of Shiva. So this is something how very, very careful we have to be in Bhagwan once again. The reason why in this particular session I am sharing all the hard learned lessons that Swami taught me, it's just to remind me and everyone, 
Let's just be in love with that Lord. Let us never ever take Bhagavan for granted. Whatever we have got from Swami, let us enjoy it. Before, uh, we, when this drama is a convocation drama, is usually in November, obviously. And before that, you have the winter vacation and the first semester. So after the success of the so-called Vibhishan Sarnagati and Arvind become Vibhishana, you know, the ons grow and you know, for the ego, ego feeling goes at that. And then Swami wants to cut us down to place. So it was Diwali. At that time, the academic calendar was different. I'm not going to comment about what is happening now. Thanks to so many reasons, we have had to change the academic calendar. Who should I pay? From Diwali, we used to get around nine days time to go home and come back. Depending upon how the academic calendar would be, Swami would decide. So it was Diwali and we were all with Swami. I still have photographs of that. And also I'm distributing crackers to everyone. And before that, three or four weeks before that, Swami granted an interview to my mother. In that interview, Swami, my mother asked Swami, Swami, can you please send him home for some time? I am missing him. You know, I was like, you know, usually the thought process would be, Swami, my son will be with you. Can I come? Ulta hota hai. It's usually other way around. So I can come and spend two more time with you. Here it was other way around. Swami looked at me, I looked at Swami, and then Swami will never say no to her mother's prayer. He has his own reasons. So he said, Manchidi. Fine. Then after she left, he called me for another interview, and then he gave personal instructions. See? You go, you spend five days with your mother. I said, no, I spend only three. I'll go, I'll spend one day and I'll come back. No, 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 I'm telling you, you go, spend five days, uh, be happy. Uh, I'm giving you one ring, he put that ring on my finger. I was arguing happily with Swami that I won't go. Not this ring, a different ring. Very uh, arguing happily. And then Swami looked up, looked down, this way, that way. He materialized one ring, he put it on my finger. He said, Bhavala, is it nice? He said, this Swami, very nice. It was a beautiful very delicate Omkaram ring. The band was very thin. It had just had three gold strings connected to one piece of gold on which there was an Omkar. You know, it's slightly raised. Beveled Omkar was there. And Swami put it on my finger and says, Bhavunga, is it nice? I said, yes, Swami, it is nice. For your mother to picture up, go home, show your mother and come. At that point, your brain will not work saying, No, Swami, I don't want the ring. It will be, you see how complicated Swami makes it for us. He says, See, if, it, if at all I was that, you know, as they call Akupakshi Bhakti, a total crazy guy, I would have taken that ring, put it in Swami's lap, and say, You keep the ring, I am going to stay with you. But at that time, mind won't work. See how Swami plays. He put that ring on my finger, he said, Go show your mother and come. So I had to agree, so to speak. That was one of my first point of failure. Look, when we are with God, we should not allow anything else to come between it. It is a lesson that I learned very hard. So whenever we get an opportunity to be with our Sadhguru, with our Avatar Purush, whoever it is, do not allow material things to come in the way. After that, what happened? So everybody thought, Swami gave you ring, Arvind, you are blessed now, that ring will protect you, go and come. Uh, Swami called inside the private interview room and he said, Arvind, he never called me Arvind, it was always Bisham. Sorry, I should never use the word Arvind here. Whichever role he gives you in the drama, that name stays with you for some time. Till the next role comes. The last role that I played was Bhima Sena. And then after that, Swami said, Be Bhishma. I really don't know what he expects. Yapa the Mahabharata won't hear that. Unless it is an internal Mahabharata. In that interview, Swami gave instructions. Go home, make your mother happy. Follow the Austrian discipline at home also. Do Omkaram and Suprabhatam. Nakar Sankirtan you cannot do because you are... Kada Samiti liya da kada. No Swami, not yet formed Swami. Or Charles Rangvasha. Make your mother happy. Atlatatu. In English it means don't talk. In the end, O Bandrak. Literally, Matlatatu. I said, okay Swami. I never realized how powerful or how deep mean that meaning of that statement was. Matlatatu. He said, okay, Swami, I won't talk, Swami. I go back to Godo Hyderabad. And on Diwali evening, the, the train was booked and all of us during those days, we remember, take a bus from Puttaparthi, go to Dharmavaram railway station and from Dharmavaram catch the trains to our different destinations. At that time, there was no railway station. So all of us got in and we were going and then one important statement Swami made. Usually, in Telugu, when you see somebody off, you will say, Bendi Raddi, which means 
जाके आइयो दोबारा ना मैं वापस आना नो दैट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वे ऑफ सेइंग वापस आओ दोबारा मिलते हैं दैट्स काइंड ऑफ थिंग बट ऑन दैट डे स्वामी सेड ओ व्हिच मींस गो नो यू एट दैट पॉइंट यू हैड स्ट्राइक्स यू व्हाई डिड स्वामी से ओ बट यू कांट आर्ग्यू विद स्वामी टिकट इज बुक पीपल आर वेटिंग एवरीथिंग इज फाइन यू हैव टू गो योर मेड कमिटमेंट्स पेमेंट्स हैव बीन डन got into the train went to hyderabad first day very calm very silent only whatever i have to talk in the house second day somebody from the colony comes oh when somebody studying in bhagwan university it's a big thing you know during those days so they all came they were all very happy to see her when you come back after 6 months you become so fat as a hostel for a day i'm very happy what do they give in hostel food i don't know any water amma doesn't cook here i get there I get rajma, we get nuggets, we get meal maker, we get mixed veg curry, we get sambar. And sorry, thanks to Venkata Chalam sir, we have tasted the cuisine across India in our hostel. So wonderful food, you be what? And then one lady comes and gives me the key. Her and tell us about Swami. The justification the mind gives, just see. Swami said, don't talk. If you want to follow that order, you should not talk about any topic. But the mind justified. Are you are talking about Swami? So go ahead. Pain tal is minute, forty-five minutes non-stop. Swami, Swami, this, Swami, this, Swami. On the forty go, Swami give to us, Swami give drama chance, Swami give this many interviews, Swami did this, Swami give that many realizations, Swami give this. Continuously for forty-five minutes, it was about Swami, 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 Swami. And at the end of it, one auntie said, "Do a sal mar le dra. You have not changed even a bit." Now let me tell you what happened. The last line of that set interview with Swami Gyan, when he told me go home, don't talk, and all that, Swami said, "I am the mechanic, ra. Right? You have come to me. I have repaired you nicely. When you go back, when people see you, they should say how much you have changed. But what did that auntie say? You have not changed at all." He treated me really bad. Then immediately I told my mom, "Oh, I'm booking my ticket. I'm going back." But already, you know, advance booking was that time was a big problem. You have to go stand in queue, book. Us time, by the way, IRCTC was not there. Talking about way back 92, everything was manual. So we had to go get it booked. We finally got it. Five days, Swami said. So five days got over. Sixth day, I was back in Parthi. But it remained in my head. Swami said, "Don't talk." Swami said. He is the mechanic who has repaired the car, and everybody who sees this car should appreciate how much the car has improved or how much the car has changed. I failed on both counts. I was scared how Swami is going to react, but I felt okay. Swami will, you know, Swami will protect me. I went to Parthi. At Swami's direction, Swami came. First to look, Swami gives, gives, looks at me. I have never seen Swami give that kind of look. It was a look of. Total ebansa, you know, total disgust kind of expression on his face. Shock. Hey, Swami is looking at me like this. What happened? Yeah. And then Swami just walks off. Then at, at that time, we had Shiv Shankar Sai, Sir Sadhvi Pan, Sir Sanjay Sani, Sir, all the elders were there. I immediately turned to them. I said, Sir, what happened? They said, No, no, Arvind. Swami is very upset with you. You sat five days and you come very late. And in between, Swami had taken all the boys to Vrindavan. Along with him, they had raced for a bus, put all the trauma boys in the bus, taking them to Vrindavan. They had wonderful time with Swami in Vrindavan, and then Swami had come back on the, according to my calculations, fifth day. I wrote a letter, immediately apologized. I said I didn't feel I had done anything wrong. She see, see how the way the mind works. Justification. I wrote the letter saying, Swami, I'm sorry, I came late. I was thinking that Swami was upset with me because I came late. I wrote that letter and offered it to Swami. Swami comes, looks at me. Chee, kar le dra. He throws the letter back. He doesn't even take it. Chee, ah, kar le dra. He says, "My God, it is really scary when Swami starts speaking like that." You know, you are in form. You are very close to Bhagwan. Just before you went for vacation, and you come back from vacation, and Swami's response is like this. You begin to get scared. Not because Swami is treating you like this. How others are going to treat you? That is the greater fear. You know, we are more concerned about image rather than clarity at that time. Even the mind evolves at a different pace. Not, not the mind. The intellect evolves at a different pace. Mind is always confusing. That's why manayega manushyanam karnam bandhamukshayu. 
you go either way it is because of the mind swami didn't respond third day swami didn't respond fourth day i was getting really worried i went to the warden i begged him sir please 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 what is happening sir swami is not talking what am i supposed to do and then very sweet of them they went and told swami swami this guy is crying like this swami thoda you know is it possible and uh, see the maya of swami apparently swami got sore throat so he was not speaking very loudly you see the maya of swami so on that evening fifth day evening swami calls the all the drama boys inside and he was uh, on the pillow so i am sitting somewhere they are really scared and then uh, the, the teacher opens the door beckons to me swami is calling so i come inside and i am literally shivering you know five days of uh, scary treatment from bhagwan will destroy whatever ego ahankar self respect whatever you want to call it whatever confusions we have he will vaporize everything i was trembling i was standing next to the interview room door and swami was sitting at diagonally those of us who have seen the inside of uh, prashant nilayam interview room as soon as you enter diagonally towards the right hand side corner is swami's throne it is a rotating chair swami very comfortable chair for swami left hand side there is a set of curtains which lead upstairs left hand side towards the corner you will have an entrance going towards the dining room and just opposite the main door is the private interview room swami was sitting in the chair and i was at this corner i was trembling and swami is saying the first statement first word that swami used when i entered the interview room by god i can't forget that expression of swami swami said endu kora why the why did just why i just broke down i started crying 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 oh and he was merciless and he said in second is second time endu kora why ra is continue to cry you know swami gettika edavaku vaitake venapadutundi don't cry so loudly people outside will hear wah what sir cause you know rubbing the salt into the wound was crying all the more and then swami could not speak when he was pretending you know that maya what maya <coughs> he is coughing but so throat i can't speak loudly ekkara ekkara ninu tittali come closer i have to bang you come closer i have to fire you i have to scold you trembling you know literally then swami gets up from the chair attends as if he is having a throat problem he goes into the diary god all the elders of vice chancellor register of control of teachers are when fall at his feet catch his feet fall at his feet no other catch his feet catch his feet and then as soon as swami comes everybody is like we didn't do anything as soon as swami comes and sits in the chair a dive bomb onto swami's feet catch his feet cry 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 sorry 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 son i don't know what i'm sorry for but i'm sorry so cry 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 and then swami again ठीक है यार वो डोंट क्रे सो लॉकली इट्स ओके डोंट क्रे क्रे सॉफ्टली क्रे सॉफ्टली ओके सो अभी प्लीज यार गिव मी अ ब्रेक देन शॉट ऑफ ही रिलेंट्स एंड ही कैचेस माय एयर एंड पुल्स मी अप एंड सेस ये मैकेनिक की चटपेर टेस्टी भी यू गॉट अ बैड नेम टू दिस मैकेनिक ऑफ कोर्स यू आर स्टिल क्राइंग देन सो आई मी एक्सप्लेन्स टू ऑल द टीचर्स सी आई टोल्ड हिम नॉट टू टॉक then i was interjecting i said no so we i only spoke about you what did i tell you don't talk i meant don't talk whether it is about me whether it is about anything under the universe don't talk did you keep quiet no so me i spoke to those people about you only so you tried to justify it see this boy how he's trying to justify when sami wants to teach a lesson he will drive it home so you'll remember for a lifetime he drove it home that day I said, "Don't talk." I told you, I am a mechanic. I have repaired this car. Go back, and they should say how much this car has changed. What did that auntie say? So I mean, she said I did not change. Chudu, see, see, what did that lady say? He is telling vice chancellor. He is telling registrar. He is telling all the controllers. But you know, you know, moment Swami decides to do something, you are finished. The academic career is over. You will no longer be there. but of course they knew swami had a own way of playing around drove it home and then swami told em bra you said you will go for 5 days but you will stay there for 7 days or 8 days i was blinking i calculated exactly then i started explaining to swami swami 
अमी वंडर्ड एक वो उसको सॉरी सो ओके हाउ डिड फाइव बिकम एट एट एनी लेवल ऑफ इन ह्यूमन कैलकुलेशन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल ए बी द रोज ऑफ यू स्टेट देयर फॉर एट डेज यू शुड यू विल स्टे ओनली फॉर थ्री डेज देन आई गिव यू परमिशन फॉर फाइव डेज एंड यू स्टेट फॉर एट डेज ये ब्रा सामंट अंत चीपा अंत चुलाका ना स्वामी हु इज द वर्ड चुलाका ना इन तेलुगु व्हिच मींस यू थिंक आई एम सो चीप God, when Swami begins to talk to you like that, you get really, really scared. I said, "Swami, please." You said five days for me. I, I was telling five days. I said, "Stop." The day you started from here, yes, Swami. The day you started from there, yes, Swami. The day you reached here, yes, Swami. In between, how many days, yes, Swami? Five plus three, how much? Divine calculation. Five plus three is eight. But Swami, that's the. Cut out. So, who told that it is dark? It's that is that is the math. Really, that day in the end of your room, I won't, I can't tell you how much of Kataras the Swami would pay to. Never, ever, ever take Swami's words for granted. Kabi bi, kabi bi, never take it for granted. If he has given an instruction, it has to be followed. No interpretations, no evaluations. No contextual ethics involved. Nothing. The Bhagwan holds there. The holds there. If he says keep quiet, we have to keep quiet. If he says go, we go and wait till he calls us. If Swami says go, he says it's a different ball game. And Swami says go, go. And this is what happened. And then uh, Swami said, "Ah, what is this guy going to do now?" Uh, so casual. We didn't just study for him. What is he going to do? Then Warden Sir very gently told Swami, "We have removed him from the drama stuff." Well, why? Swami, he came late. Chudu, you came late. That's why you lost the chance. Sir, Swami, please, Swami, really, I'm very sorry, sir. Very sorry, sir. And Sir said, "Okay, Sir, play the role of Ishwara." And now still three more days are left in holidays. So go home and come. And at that time, you were literally dressing me down, saying, "Don't worry." See the circus, Sir. How we made you remember? It's like sandpaper. We will polish, 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 polish till the marble is shiny. It will start with 200 grade and go down to 1000 grade. That is the way in which Swami teaches. So, thanks to this interview, thanks to this drama, fundamental lessons of obedience to Swami. When He says something, follow it. Then I played the role of Shiva. It came out nicely. Swami blessed a lot. And after that, uh, there were no more Telugu convocation dramas. Swami said, "Okay, let him finish the role. We finish the role of Shiva. Everything got done. And for the next three years, I was participating in the band. By Swami's grace, they are selected me for the Institute Brass Band. I gave my heart and soul to that. Four hours of practice per day. Played the instrument very well. And we were taught by Menard Ferguson sir, him sir, great devotee of Swami, very great devotee of Swami. He would come. He would spend time with us. You know, it's like I stand teaching one, two, three." One of the greatest jazz trumpet players coming and teaching us how to read Western notation. So for three years it was the band. After that it was band and drama. So the next role that Swami gave was a social role. Not it was Ravana's role. Let me not confuse. It was the role of Ravana in a scene where Bhavishana is trying to convince Ravana that he should return Mother Sita to Lord Rama. The, the the concept of the drama was a social theme wherein you know the protagonist is trying to convince all this uh, associates to focus on doing social good, but they are more interested in making money. So there's a different thing. Swami's drama and Swami's themes are different. But I was supposed to play the role of Ravana. What happened that day was I was just one minute or two minutes late coming to the costume uh, during those days. Drama used to be in Unnachandra, not in Sai Govind Hall. And the tent would be put towards the lady side of Pune uh, Chandra. So makeup would used to be done outside. Then all the characters would go into Pune Chandra Hall, and then Swami would individually check whether everything is fine or not. I tell you, Bhagwan's degree of detail when it comes to drama is phenomenal. So all the other characters had got their individual attention. It was cleared. I was just a minute late entering the backstage. You know, in Pune Chandra, there's a double backstage. Behind Swami's stage, there is a big area, and behind that, there is a narrow corridor. So I was entering the corridor, and then Swami exited into the stage. I entered the back stage, and Swami went up downstairs. I mean, the teachers looked at me, "Are when you are a bit late, dear Swami, couldn't see you." So, kick, jova, so what? Drama got over, and everybody after the drama, when Swami comes back stage, all of us crowd around Bhagwan, and then Swami looks around, looks around, and says. 
Hey, Ravana. And then some bear at the back. Oh, still on Swami. I'm coming, Swami. You know, but check it. There are five caps. Swami, Swami. We will run forward to Swami. Swami is looking at me. He looks at my entire. After the drama, he is very playing the costume. Swami has his own base. He wanted to convey a message. He looked at me. He put his up. Everything he saw, everything. And he said, "Chala Santosh." Oh, now. Before this drama chance came, we have uh, when we have this Akhand Bhajans, right? 24 hours Akhand Bhajan. Before that, before birthday celebrations, one week before that, we have Akhand Bhajan. And during that time, I was sort of prasadam distribution coordinator from the students' side. So let me link these two. I wanted to say this before. Our Swami said, "Hey, Ravana, he he deals with you only by the name. That name reflects our thought process at that time. See." When I went to Swami in the beginning, I was in the state of Sharanagati. Swami, you are everything. You are everything. So be Shana. When ego comes into the way, it is a Ravana. So sub subliminal messaging of Bhagwan, Ravana. What happened was during that account was in time. After the during prasadam distribution, you remember I told you about that sweet ring which Swami gave me. That thin three gold lines with that long car on top. I you always used to wear that ring because when Swami gave me that ring, I was getting scared that it will break. I would just close my fist, and that ring would deform. So I had removed it, kept it on my corner, on on my ear, with jandiam ke upar, yagyo pe bhi ke upar lagaya tha maine. And then Swami asked, "Yeh pitko mani chena, pakkan pitta mani chena. Tere ko pehne ke liye de, alag rakne ke liye diya." Sorry, Swami. So I wore that ring, and used to have to be very careful. On that day, after the account was unbought over. All of us know a certain distribution is a heavy thing. You get sweet pongal and you get puli gotharai, tamarind rice. Of course, now it is lattu and tamarind rice, but during those days it was sweet pongal and tamarind rice. And those huge, you know, I don't know what to call them, that aluminium containers would be brought from the canty and would be put on the portico on the ladies' side. Swami would personally come, he would break the coconut, he would sprinkle that coconut water on all the prasad, and then prasad and distribution would start. That day, we were in Joshi. So now let's do it. Let's finish pass. Swami is getting disturbed. You have to finish pass. Shyam ho gaya tha. Swami has to, you know, see see our thought process. Swami has to take rest. Arey ar ano ra niyan maat aur ma niyan. To whom we are talking about rest? Swami has to take rest. So let's finish pass. In that Josh, you are dumping the pulley, the sweet corn dal and the pulley water. I am using those plates into Bhawani's. So. My hand, left hand, which was having that ring, it struck the side of the bhavani. It struck the side, and immediately I looked at my palm. I could see those three gold rings, three lines over there. So I assumed the ring is there. I continued putting the prasad. After the fifth or sixth bhavani event, my hand touched the side of the bowl. It was cold. I looked at it. The bone karam was gone. The The three bands were there on my finger because it was very soft, cold. It had dipped my finger, but the unkaram was gone. Yeah, I looked at the guy who was serving me. The guy looked at me. I looked at my ring, and we looked. You know, movie made it. I tell you, you look. It's already gone. Jara, I want back. Bawari is after Bawari is a patta nee. In whose uh, plate that prasad arrived, and what prayer he or she would have made to receive that world peace gap? But Swami called me Ravana, and I was at Swami's feet, looking up at Swami. I said, Swami, small request, Swami. So Telugu me hota hai. It's very difficult to translate the Telugu emotion into English and Hindi. But I prayed to Swami, Swami, what does I have request as well? Hear me, Swami. Short, Swami. The ring that you gave is gone, Swami. So Swami looks up like that. Both hands, you know, divine word. Both hands behind his back. He looks up like that. He. Then if any eye point di, adi very point di. Uska kam ho gaya, ho chala gaya. I was like, you know, for a second you are shocked, but then your yukti comes into the mind. I said, Swami, Ingram poi di yenu nan Swami. Inguti chala gaya, like a maya upa abu shop. He looks down at me. I said, Swami, he saw. And Swami says, he samay vachna padi stuff. He, I'll give you when the time comes. Now, why have narrated the story of Ravana, the ring being lost, and Swami saying when the time, and Swami saying. दानी पानी आई कोई नहीं बेलीपुर उसका काम हो गया वो चला गया। Before I came to Swami or even now, to some extent, I have a very short temper. Fuse was very 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 short. अब तो बहुत लंबा हो गया है, thanks to all the white hair and 50 plus years of experience. 
it was a very short fuse which when i came to sorry and whenever i would get angry i would show my frustration by punching walls itna gussa tha mujhe and what did swami do he put such a delicate ring on my hand on my finger that i can't even close my fist without the ring and getting deformed anger management through ring only divinity can think about it in the fear that the ring would damage i would never close my fist so when you don't close your fist you can't bang walls and your automatically got be channelized into other activities how he works things out for different people we cannot even tell of course after in the year 2001 when he sent us to delhi for but sorry 2000 when he sent us to delhi for training before that swami called me my mother my sister everybody for an interview and in that interview swami materialized this way put it on my finger and said idi ni kuraksha this is your raksha long life happy life peaceful life attended life we can't ask to from swami anything more than that i just have two minutes left so i would like to conclude with just two points that i would like to share number one living with god is to education in whatever degree of swami priyam we are whether we are inside the interview room with swami or sitting in the 23rd row or doing seva wherever we are swami is with us this is a beautiful assurance that swami gave all of us on the simple trust today i would like to end this conversation this summer bond with that assurance of our work inside the bhajan hall swami had spent a lot of time with us he had blessed us profusely padmaskar mila individual questions how is your mom how is your father how is your health all that was over swami comes out he sits on the portico and we are all at bhagwan's lotus feet and we are all praying to bhagwan in our own hearts and then one of the brothers voices his prayer he says swami we should always be with you swami and then swami gives a sweet smile and says if all of you are here i mean in telugu it is so lyrical and so beautiful swami says if all of you are here who will do my work outside then i look up at swami typical active passive voice as a swami you be with us swami the brother had said swami we should be with you i said swami you be with us swami oh, honestly i am telling you i did not say it. he made me say it. that zero and one story i have shared in my side those of us who have not watched it please watch it i don't want to repeat it here you enjoy it there what's that how swami proved that he is the one and i am zero i am nothing aaj jo bhi i am sharing with you it's only in speaking i am nothing honestly with love to god with surrender to god i am telling you on that day i said swami you be with us sir and then swami looks at me and gives a beautiful smile i know i you rarely see swami doing that he says that is correct prayer wherever you go i will be with you he telugu he said if ekkada poina nenu meetu unta i will always be with you wherever you go i would like to end with that assurance of bhagwan wherever we are whatever we may be doing let us never forget bhagwan's promise he said once i hold your hand you may do whatever you want you may go wherever you want you may think that you are doing something but no i will never let you go you may forget about me but i will never forget about you i will always pull you back to me and samarpad i personally feel is one way in which the speaker as well as the listeners can remind themselves that he is always holding us by our hand he is never going to let us go swami tomakshiram param veditavyam tomasya vishvasya paramam nidana tvam avyayaga shashvata dharma gopta sanatana stvam purusho madhure jai sanatana